Today's tech has an iconic look and sometimes controversial sound, but if it was bass you was looking for, these always got down. Today is Beat Studio Pro Day. Let's get into it. What's up, my fearless friends? Shay Sean Fair and I'm McPherson back to you with another Gear and Gadgets where I like to talk apparel, gear, and tech for musicians and DJs alike. Today, we're talking about the Beat Studio Pro. It just came out. Let's unbox it. The B Studio Pro Premium Wireless Noise Cancelling Headphones, Transparency Mode, Up to 40 Hours of Listening Time, Lossless Audio via USB-C, and they're compatible with both Apple and Android. They boast an up to 80% reduced distortion. You also can personalize your spatial audio with these Beat Studio Pro. Apple has been doing really good with their noise cancellation and their transparency modes. There are other brands like Sony that do it well as well, but Apple is really good with their noise cancellation and legendary with their transparency mode. When it comes to my headphones, I'm looking for five traits. Comfortability, portability, durability, sound quality, and style. Let's see how these Beat Studio Pros match up against my AirPod Pros and whether they can take over for my daily use. So I made a rating system, one to five, one being the least, five being the best of my five demands of headphones. So we'll start with the Beat Studio Pro. As far as comfortability, they get a four out of five. These Beat Studio Pros are very light on the head. I can see myself wearing these all day, where sometimes earbuds, when I take long flights, they end up hurting my ears after a while. So it would be nice to have these to switch back and forth to. As far as portability, they get a four out of five. I do like the pouch that they come in, and it has three pockets. I also like the fact that they give you a 3.5 millimeter jack. I like the fact that these collapse like this. However, a con on that is I, I believe that this is the failure point that's gonna make them break. Durability, they get a two out of five, and that's really because of the plastic hinges that can break. I actually did a gig with a keyboard player who loved his previous studio over the air headphones and they broke and he was distraught because the sound quality is great for him, but they just didn't last more than two years. Sound quality is controversial. It depends on what you're looking for. If you're into EDM, I think these headphones are great. If you're into music with a mids or like very high pitch and you wanna uh, be able to differentiate between certain instruments, might not be the headphones for you if you're more of an audiophile. But if you just want everyday listening, like someplace like the gym or something like that, these are super great to me. As far as sound quality, I give them a four out of five for me personally, because I do hip hop. I do do jazz and sometimes classical music, but most of the time I'm listening to either hip hop, reggae, R&B, vibes like that. As far as style, these should really get a 4.5 out of five just because of how iconic the Beats logo is and just wearing Beats. You can see basketball players wearing them on the court and you can see them all over the place really uh, where the youth adopt them as part of the style. As far as style, you can see it goes really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Really nice with brown and blue uh, accents. I, I just like the way they look, especially against skin tone of darker skins as well. But I think they look good on everybody. Compared to my daily drivers, my AirPod Pros, this is my rating on that same system. Comfortability, I also give them a four out of five. Portability, 
I give them a five out of five, which is not fair because you could just put them in your pocket. Durability, I give them a five out of five because I once washed them in my pocket and they still worked. Still isn't fair because they, they have an actual case that you can put in your pocket, whereas the B Studio Pro, they're gonna be out of the case a lot of the time. As far as sound quality, I give them a five out of five. I think the AirPod Pros are as high as it gets with uh, Apple tech on sound. Um, but the sound quality, that's not to say that the sound quality isn't great on the Beat Studio Pro. As far as style, I think the Beat Studio Pro edge out the AirPod Pros just because some people don't like having these white earbuds in your ear. Yes, the stem on them is shorter, so it's way better and less conspicuous, but I still think the style on the Beats is a little bit better. So I gave the AirPod Pros a three out of five on style. Some other notable features about the Beat Studio Pro that I witnessed as far as me having them thus far. They're not bad as DJ headphones. If you had to bring one pair of headphones with you and you're traveling on a plane, then you're getting off the plane and DJing, I think these might be a good choice because they have 40 hours of battery life, which is even better than the over-the-air AirPod Pro Max. And I like that they come with a USB-C. The AirPod Pro's Max, I've been told, don't come with a USB-C plug which is crazy when you're paying $500 for a pair of headphones. The only thing that the Beat Studio Pro don't come with is a power brick to plug in the USB-C into if you wanna just charge them by themselves. These are some of the cons that I found with the Beat Studio Pro. I don't like that they're not really water resistant. I feel like if you wanna wear these to the gym, you're gonna sweat on these and you want them to be kinda of durable from moisture. I think that some of that rubber over time, like five years, three years, it's going to start wearing away. I might be wrong. It is a much more comfortable plastic than it's on the previous uh, Studio Pros, but I really wish that they made it more water resistant. I don't like how they cripple the B Studio Pro by not putting an H1 chip in it. Meaning that when you like uh, go to put them on and you switch devices, you have to actually switch it in each device. Whereas the AirPod Pros just switch automatically. For some people that can be buggy, but I know a lot of people like the seamlessness of just picking up uh, you know, your phone and it's your headphones switching to it and then going to your computer and it's switching. Another little thing I don't like that the headphones don't turn off when you take them off your ears. Like if you wanna speak to somebody or you just wanna take them off for a second, the music won't stop. You have to actually stop the music. That's another con I didn't like. And if there was one more con, it could be the price because you can get like the Sonys, like I said, for around the same price and they give you a little bit better sound quality in my opinion. But um, I guess $350 is around what the going rate is for some headphones like this. It feels expensive though for the plastic hinges that you get. But when you also compare that to the AirPod Pro Max, $500 versus $350, you might wanna go with these because they're more portable than the Air Max, the AirPod Pro Max. You don't have to carry around that case that looks like a pocketbook. I chose to go with the deep brown color and I kind of like the way it looks for me with my apparel and just my lifestyle. The Studio Beach Pro also come in a very cool like navy blue and a sandstone. They also come in the standard black. I do notice that your finger smudges all the colors except for the sandstone right away. As soon as I touched them out the box, the brown had a little bit of a like a smudge on it. Now, when I bought these in the store, the attendant tried to get me to get uh, the Apple insurance on these for two years, but I really didn't want to do it. But if you know you're going to be wearing these every day and throwing these around, you might want to get it because I feel like these plastic hinges are definitely going to go 
overuse of putting these in and out of the case. You get six months of free music for your beats through Apple Music. I like the ear cups. I like how comfortable they feel. I just hope they don't start breaking up like some other headphones do over a long period of time. I don't think I've ever owned an over-the-air pair of beats. I've had the other beats, the earbuds, but I don't think I've ever had an over-the-air pair, even when they were big back in the early 2000s. I also like how these sound on uh, phone calls. I, I usually rather use earbuds for phone calls, but they do sound good on phone calls, FYI. So once again, my name is Shay Sean Phantom McPherson. Thanks for stopping by Gear and Gadgets. If you like shows like this or you like reviews on tech, DJ, apparel stuff, I also violin stuff and, and, and pedals that I like to use while on tour, please subscribe. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get the channel up to 10,000 before we hit fall. Help me do that. Once again, Shay Sean Fan, I'm McPherson. Peace.